Hey, what's up everyone? This is Dustin Ripkins with Ripped with Ripkins, another beautiful outdoor shoot. Unfortunately, it was very windy and therefore the sound didn't pick up the way I wanted. And that's why I'm giving you a voice over for this workout today. You just need a resistance band and a trampoline. Place the resistance band a couple of inches above your knees. We're gonna do a 10 minute workout, five minutes for your booty and legs and five minutes for your upper body, core, shoulders and back. So you get a full body workout. No matter if you're a beginner or advanced, this workout is perfectly for you. All levels, we will work the full body. We have 50 seconds for one move, 10 seconds of break where we switch the move. And with that being said, I think you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. Here we go, let's get started with an open close bounce. Your resistance band is a couple of inches above your knees in three, two, one, let's go. 50 seconds on the clock. We're just jumping, open, close, open, close. You wanna drive your hips back, actively bend your knees. Your arms just go out and in. Your core is nice and tight and just really feel your glutes and your IT band, meaning the outside of your legs work. Very good, keep your feet parallel, abdominals stay in, keep bouncing. Good, come a little lower and make sure you really actively lean your upper body forward. Keep your core tight. You're doing amazing, we're nearly there. Three, two, one, 10 second break. Breathe, we're gonna go into a wide scissor, meaning your feet go front and back, front and back, but your feet stay hip width apart, so the resistance band can't fall down, let's go. Yep, you can go as fast or as slow as you want, as long as you really make it juicy and gooey, creating that resistance so you can work your legs to the max. Keep your upper body leaning forward, abdominals are still tight, and if you want, drive your knees a little higher up towards your chest. Very good, keep going. Keep fighting, we're nearly there. Good, and bounce it out. Next move, squat, kick. A regular squat and then kick forward. Regular squat, lift your knee up and then kick forward with a flexed foot. Here we go. Good, we squeeze through our glutes on the way up and then when we kick, we feel our quadriceps, the top of your leg, working. Maybe see if you can drive your hips a little bit further back and drive your hips also a little lower. Imagine you're sitting on a chair. If the band feel like, you know, it's rolling under or so, just take a second, straighten it back up and then continue. Beautiful form, keep pushing. All right, very, very good. We're already at move number four, one leg pulls. So again, if your band rolls under, mine does sometimes, adjust it. And then here, we're just tapping one leg on the trampoline, lifting it up and up. We're gonna do 25 seconds on one leg, 25 seconds on the other leg. Your standing leg pushes into the trampoline, your arms are out, and imagine you're pushing down on a table. So you create that resistance, a strong balance, and or if you want a challenge you can lift your feet up and just pulse it up without tapping the trampoline yeah i hope you saw the switch make sure you switch your leg feel your booty and core working last few seconds stay strong after this we only have one more exercise for the lower body Good, breathe, bounce it out, shake it up. We're gonna go into rises. 
Now this is very tricky on a trampoline because every time you rise up, your toe is going to sink down into the trampoline mat. But just do your best to stay on the balls of your feet and lift the heels off the trampoline, even if it's just a couple of inches. And then really feel your calves, your hamstrings, meaning the back of your legs and your glutes working. Keep your center strong, navel in, rib cage in. Woo, do you feel the burn? Yes, few more seconds, you got it. Breathe. Three more, yes. And come on out, nice. All right, take the resistant band off, straighten it out again. Now we're gonna go into an upper body place the band a couple of inches above your wrist arms go in front of your chest roll your shoulder blades back and then just pulls your arms out and out and out good feel your shoulders working keep that resistance you can also imagine you're holding a box and then you're letting it drop yeah and then you're holding it again and you're letting it drop so that you never bring your arms too close together because when you bring your arms in you're still holding the box when you open just a couple of inches out and out to create the resistance and the tension in your shoulders. Yeah, it starts burning, that's okay, just keep on going. Roll your shoulder blades back, keep them long away from your ears. A few more seconds. And come on out, very good. Roll your shoulder blades down again. Abdominals in, open your hands wider than your shoulders. We go up and push it down. This is our latissimo dorsi pull down, or in short, lat pull down. So on the way down, feel how your mid back is doing the work, creating the resistance, pushing your arms down. Of course, you're still gonna feel it in your shoulders, but make it all about your back. Focus on your breath. Your breath will help you through it. Beautiful. And push, 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 push. I'm feeling it too. It's burning. Yes, yeah, nearly there. All right, from here, we're gonna do a 90 degree bicep curl. Grab your band, one arm up, one arm down. Hug your elbows in and then curl up back to 90 degrees. As you can see, I'm not dropping my arm all the way. There's always a little bit of resistance in your band. We're just gonna go up and down. Up and back to 90 degrees. So the tension stays in your biceps. My holding arm, my wrist is in alignment with your arm. Careful, it doesn't poke up. There's no angle or break in your wrist. Keep it all in one alignment. doing 50 seconds on one arm 50 seconds on the other Woo, keep on fighting you got this all right good move number nine other side bicep curl roll your shoulder blades back long spine soften your knees and curl up and down Can you create a little bit more tension? And always remember, if the resistance band is too easy, grab a harder one. If it's too strong, grab a lighter one. After this, we only have one move left, so stay with me. The workout is nearly over. Good, three, two, one, come on out. All right, very last one. Tricep curl, 
look at this palms are facing down arms come back to shoulder level and then bring it in and out imagine like a bicep curl but reverse it with your palms facing down so your triceps the back of your arms can do the work here this is our very last move keep going can you squeeze a little bit more create more pressure so close to the finish line do not stop stay with me right here Yes, keep going, nearly there. Keep the retention in your band. And come on out, very good, shake it off. You made it, thank you so much for joining this 10 minute full body resistant workout. I appreciate you so much. If you like what I do, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, it does matter. Put your notifications on so you know every time I drop a new video. My name is Dustin, this is Ripped with Ripkins. I appreciate you and I will see you next time. Bye for now.